Thank you all for tuning in to Business in 23. We really appreciate your loyalty. We're so glad that every week we see hundreds of you take the time to be with us. In this week's program, we covered some topics that we think will really be worth your time and attention. If you didn't catch them live, you can click through the link that accompanies this video. And in specific, we heard from Amber Lawyer, who's an attorney in our Syracuse office. Amber talked about a, a Delaware Consumer Protection Standard, uh, and that's in the context of data privacy generally and uh, Cybersecurity Awareness Month, which is now here in October. So that was a certainly useful presentation and one that will have buttressed by a further presentation on October 31st by Jessica Copeland, who leads our cybersecurity and data privacy practice. So please stay tuned for that. Uh, following Amber, we also had Sandra Casey out of our Albany office, and she addressed the gainful employment standards affecting higher education. Sandra is an attorney who focuses much of her work on institutions of higher education and was herself an in-house counsel uh, in a college setting. So uh, she speaks from experience and puts that uh, standard into context. Carl Dubel was with us for the first time on the program. Carl is based in Rochester, previously worked for the New York County District Attorney's Office, uh, recently joined Bond, and Carl talked about litigation at the Court of Appeals level in New York State concerning assumption of risk standards. An interesting overlay with baseball, one of the cases involved a baseball injury. Um, it is, of course, though, uh, playoff baseball time. And for those of us who are baseball fans, uh, it certainly felt like it was a chance to think about the sport and otherwise to learn about um, some interesting issues. So uh, if you didn't catch Carl's presentation, please tune in for that. And then at the back end of our broadcast today, we had Kamisha Parkins, who is an associate trainee who summered with us at Bond for two different summers and is now working with us as she waits to be admitted to the bar. Um, she was supervised by Mallory Campbell, an associate uh, in the labor and employment practice, also based here in New York, and who's well known to many of you because she's been on the program numerous times. And uh, what Kamisha covered were changes to New York City's earn sick time standards, amendments that are important for all of those who have employment obligations in New York City, but there's certainly emanations across New York State and elsewhere. Things like um, employment manuals um, are, are topics that are important for all of you as employers to be thinking about. And you know, this presentation was a chance for you to be exposed to some of that um, context. And so we're hopeful that all of you take the time to tune back in on the 24th for our next program and thereafter your commitment to all that we do here on Bond for You is, again, deeply appreciated. We thank you and we look forward to seeing you soon.